These are mine, both Shrimp computers. Here you can see two versions of it. Uh, on the left side is a prototype version and on the right side it's a production version. Difference between these two units uh, from the outside is in input keys. Prototype version have an encoder as an input key which allows for uh, changing the displays and for uh, uh, setup while production version have two waterproof sealed push buttons to change to, to do the exactly same thing like encoder does. Now shortly on the display. So these both computers uses they use a, a GPS module to determine uh, both speed and uh, direction. So on the main display there is a current boat speed, there is a traveled distance in this trip, below that it's a total traveling distance, so this total traveling distance doesn't uh, uh, reset to zero after power off, and below it's a total engine running, running time uh, uh, which also doesn't uh, reset after power off. In the middle there is a heading direction, Currently it's a northwest, and below that it's an angle from the north of of uh, this is the angle of the of the heading. Below that it's a current fuel consumption in liters per hour. On the right side there is engine RPMs, there is a battery voltage, and there is a fuel tank uh, a fuel tank uh, uh, level. Actual, uh, currently it's 100% which is set to 300 liters. So this is main display. There are two more additional displays. Second shows number of satellites which GPS can uh, detect. Right now uh, average consumption from the beginning of the trip in liter per hour. Average economy. Economy is a measure of uh, spent fuel over travel distance. So the units are liter per mile or liter per kilometer, depends what unit you select. And average speed, again from the beginning of the trip in knots. This can be set to, uh, to uh, kilometers per hour, which will be described later. And finally, there is a third screen which shows cheap fuel, cheap fuel use in the current ship, of course, run time, run time is meaning uh, uh, engine run, run time in the current ship, and the current economy at, uh, at which you are driving uh, right now in liter per mile. These are all data. So uh, uh, a production production unit doesn't differ uh, uh, at all. Uh, uh, doesn't differ in a display mode from, from, from this unit, only the input keys are changed and the other changes are from the inside. Uh, both units are uh, uh, enclosed in a waterproof uh, box. Uh, LCD is placed uh, behind the transparent, uh, transparent front panel. So the, comp the unit is completely sealed against the water and against moisture. Okay, now after powering off, I can show the units from this, from the, from the rear side. So there are only uh, uh, three uh, leads, which are also uh, waterproofed. Uh, and uh, no, so no uh, water or mist can enter the enclosure. Uh, the unit can be placed on the boat cockpit or you can uh, unscrew the front panel and just place the front panel on the, on the boat cockpit. After opening it, you can see the biggest difference between these two units is in the inside. The production unit have everything on the one PCB, 
while uh, while a uh, uh, prototype unit have separate boards so i'll just show you the production unit so here are the inputs you can see there is a tachometer signal input here it's a battery voltage below that it's a tank level sensor connection below that it's a forward fuel flow uh, a flow meter connection and the last the last terminal is for a return flow connection this last return flow is used for diesel engines where you have not only forward flow but also return flow flow from the engine so the unit needs to subtract return flow from forward flow. To enter setup, uh, this button needs to be pushed, after which uh, adjustments are performed. So let's see how adjustments look like. So after you pushed the setup button which is placed on the inside of the bore, you are asked speed and distance units roll to change. So you can change between a knot and nautical mile or kilometer per hour and kilometers. You select the units uh, 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 and uh, all the measurements are referenced in this unit. So we can change uh, uh, the previous value and select kilometer per hour, push, go forward. The next parameter is tachometer pulses per revolution. So this means uh, 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 the number uh, which will divide the incoming pulses from tachometer signal. So let's say four pulses per revolution number of satellites required for measurement uh, for distance measurement to start so uh, uh, to to exclude erratic measurements uh, you can set uh, some uh, higher number of satellites after which me measurements will be made so uh, this should not be uh, for example uh, this number cannot be lower than, than three. So uh, let's say after uh, after five satellites, there is a sense to measure the distance. So forward flow meter con constant. So uh, this depends of the engine type. If you have gasoline engine, only one flow meter is used, and this is this is the one. So here you set uh, flow tachometer constant. Let's say it's, I don't know, 850, enter. New return flow meter constant. If you don't have the uh, uh, diesel engine or you only have gasoline engine, you don't need to put this value. It means nothing to you. We can set it now just to show to 1000 impulses per liter. So if you have diesel engine, then uh, return uh, fuel can be warm or is warmer, which can affect um, uh, flow meter measurements. So here you can compensate for the temperature difference in the viscosity of return fuel. So you can uh, lower, uh, lower the value of uh, measured return flow. So uh, uh, if, if return flow meter measurements is exact, then you put this value one. If it's uh, lower, you should put some lower value. Let's say this factor is 0.8. Now here, uh, here are the, set, the, the, the setup for uh, uh, fuel tank uh, level meter. So it can work with both US and uh, uh, European standards. You just set emptied fuel tank resistance and fuel fuel tank resistance, and you set the uh, 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 fuel tank capacity in liters. That is how you define 
your resistive tank level meter. So you set uh, empty tank level meter 10 ohms, you can set full tank uh, uh, level resistance to 180 ohm, you can choose 200, it doesn't matter. And then you set full tank, full fuel tank capacity. Yeah. Okay. Here you change the engine type. Uh, engine type is important while calculating fuel flow. If you have gasoline engine, only forward flow meter is, is, is taken into account. If you have diesel engine, uh, uh, the, the, the computer uh, 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 accounts for both, for both forward and return flow uh, flow meters. So we can, we can, we can change to diesel. Uh, there is averaging on all measure, measured parameters, so you can you can uh, average uh, flow measurements, and you should uh, uh, the right uh, values for for flow averaging is from five to fifteen seconds uh, because uh, actual flow is pulsing, so you need to enter the averaging to have. Uh, uh, more or less contact, uh, constant readings. So let's say 10 seconds in the flow averaging period. Uh, RPMs, engine RPMs averaging period, the same thing. You can put five, six seconds averaging. Tank level averaging period also, because it doesn't make sense that you have every single uh, reading every single second because the value will jump uh, all the time as your boat is, uh, is uh, moving on the waves and uh, the, uh, the, the, the measured value will jump and it doesn't make sense. So you can, you can read every, every half a minute, no problem. Setting saves to memory. That's it. So you can see now the measurement units for uh, speed is now kilometer per hour and the measurement unit for distance is now kilometers. The same thing for, uh, for average economy, liter per kilometers and average speed, kilometer per hour. Now all the units are in kilometers and uh, in kilometers per hour. Uh, it depends what you like to see more. Nautical miles and knots or kilometer per hours and kilometers. So that's it. That's the short demonstration of my Bochi computer, which is now developed as, uh, as production version here on the left. It needs to be assembled. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye bye.